Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Russ. Today, I'm going to be doing my first video ever about Shani for Christ. Or as her real name is, Shannon Eileen McGraw. And I believe her husband is named Jason William Egroff. I don't know if it's Egroff or if it's Egroff. Rev slash baby carrot. A whole trailer park rolled up into one big, fat, terrible human being plus a tiny dicked husband. And this is old. This is from 2020, but still, like, it's kind of an accurate description of who Shani for Christ is, even though it's old. But without further ado, let's get into it. Shannon Eileen McGraw, known to the internet as Shani for Christ, is a Jesus-loving, horn-making, has been beaten, hamplin' at. Shani came on to KF Radar, Kiwi Farms Radar, I'm assuming, after defending Chantal, Chantal being foodie beauty, by calling her detractors the N-word. Ooh, we got a really good one here. Soon after, claims of racism struck Chantal, and she disavowed Shani and what she was saying. This led to Shani having a meltdown on video and her continuing to call everyone on YouTube the N-word for a few days. However, as of this writing, the two appear to have patched things up as Shani is now back to commenting on Chantal's videos and Chantal is back to hearting each of them. There's continued backlash on Chantal's part the longer this goes on. So another meltdown in hog heaven is on its way. And I'm just going to read the comments that Shani for Christ left back in the day. Want me to help? I've been dying to knock life of a free spirit off her pedestal. She looks at the smallest things and attacks you. And to be frank, I feel she's more cruel to you than Amber. I mean, these chicks are fat and telling you you can't be fat or eat anything. Like, for example, Amber eats a salad and she gets told it's not good enough. It's like, really, F you, bitch. And then Foodie Beauty says she is so obsessed. It's harassment at this point. Like, F off and leave me alone, psycho. And there's also tweets, which I'm not going to read. A quick look through her videos shows Shani's every stereotype of fat white trash, including but not limited to... Various arrests and brushes with the law, poor life decisions, drug use, multiple husbands resulting in ignored children who have seen horrors, evictions, name changes, and internet attention whoring which attracted a small but ever-growing cadre of haters whom she blames for all her problems. And this is another thing that Shani for Christ commented. A strong person picks people up and edifies. A strong person realizes there's no use to making fun of others because integrity calls for kindness. A strong person has self-control not to lose that integrity and fights to not be like these weak-minded people. Weak-minded people need a fight because it's the only time they feel validated. Strong people don't need validation or people's approval. They will march by the beat of their own drum. Strong people don't have middle school mentality because they realize adults should have the capability to have self-control and the knowledge that it is unproductive. Unfortunately, adults don't want to adult anymore. They want to revert back to childlike behavior. Gross. Get therapy. You are a harm against yourself and others. Your weak-minded approach can get people killed. Stop it! Be better. Kindness is free. Rudeness is just chains. And then the peace emoji. A good example of Shani's white trash background was when her own mother went on YouTube to air her daughter's dirty laundry. She revealed that Shani has cucked not only her previous husband, but her current husband, Jason, as well. And that she got with Jason solely for money. Mom said Shani allows her children to piss on the floor and invites homeless meth heads to crash at her place. And there's a video that I'm assuming Shani for Christ's mother made. So I'm going to show that really quick. It's titled Shani for Christ Mommy Wants and then the rest of it is blurred out. So let's see. Let's see here. 
see if this thing is working. Hi. Okay, I, I, I wasn't going to do this, but I watched Chris's videos. This is concerning Shani for Christ. I watched Chris's videos, and I just think that it's about time that I get my side of the story out for a change. Because I noticed that um, Jason has been making comments about things he doesn't even understand or know about. But first of all, um, I just want to say to Chris that, yeah, you screwed up some things, but you were a good father. And I just want you to know that um, before you came along, Zachary didn't smile much. I mean, he didn't respond to people. And uh, he really, those boys really loved you, Zachary especially. But he, it was like the light turned on when you came into his life. And I just want you to know that. Nobody should ever question what a good father you were. You were a good provider, too. You did the best you could. I mean, I know you don't make that much money, but you did the best you could. And she sat there year after year getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and um, wouldn't work. I understand mm -hmm. that. But I just needed to thank you for being a part in the boys' lives. Shannon has told you many things. I tried to warn you, her father and I tried to warn you about her before, but of course you wouldn't listen. She was your wife. I understand that. Jason's not going to listen either. He's going to have to find out the hard way. But oh, nobody's really? abused Shannon, okay? That is her M.O. She uses that with everybody. She did it with Douglas. She's done it with you. She's done it with her sister, her brothers. Everybody in her life has always treated her this way. And this is why she's so crazy. I mean, it covers for her mental so illness. So she's been lying about abuse? And she knows she's mentally ill. And she knows what she's supposed to do to help that mental illness. But she chooses not to. Yep. She chooses not she chooses to use it as an excuse that she does to do what she does and i don't have to explain what she does i mean she makes these outrageous videos all the time she's always crying and carrying on and and always always you know always something negative her since she was 16 years old i don't want to say her entire life because she was a beautiful child you know, I mean, she really was a very beautiful child and happy girl. She used to sing and she dreamed of going to Paris. And I noticed the picture in the back of the Eiffel Tower. And that reminds me of Shannon, the little Shannon when my daughter. But something and happened. And then it all went to shit, way. right? I know what happened. Damn. I think you know what happened, Chris. The her. family fell it apart. That's it what was, happened. It, 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 you know, it was unfortunate that all that she went through what she went through um, when she was 16 years old, but it, it somehow changed her. And ever since then, she has blamed everybody else for all the screw ups that she makes in her life. She uses it as an excuse that. Except when it comes to... That's what a lot of people like that tend to do. They tend to use stuff like that as excuses. she was 16 years old. And I'm not going to talk about it here because it was it was traumatic what happened to her. Um, I bet. I have no doubt in my mind. And I have to say, as bad as this sounds, something inside of me tells me that maybe it didn't happen the way she said it happened. But something had to have happened for her to have turned out as she has. She has crashed and burned just about every single relationship in her life. And I'm not going to keep this video up for very long. I just want to be able to make my side of the story and make things clear. 
um, she's got people like Miss Star and, and a couple of people that, you know, feel really sorry for her, but they don't realize how much she has affected everybody in her life. I mean, every one of her siblings and both of her parents have helped her out over and over and over again. And she walks all over them. She crashes and burns her bridges behind her. This is the last time I am ever, that my husband and I are ever going to be able to help her again. I mean, she nearly this is destroyed such a sad us situation. during this last stay when, when you and her broke up. Um, this really is so she's sad. She's got Jason believing that there was abuse. The, um, there was no abuse going on whatsoever. We, we bought her clothes. We bought her makeup. We bought her... Uh, she got to use her father's car every single day, even when she wasn't working. She got to use her father's car in his truck. We had we got an SUV that her father used at that time. So, I mean, she had a way to work, but she wanted to lay in bed for months. She got fired from her first job for making videos on YouTube. Okay? Wow. And she knows she's, she had, I got to blow my nose. I'm sorry. I feel like crying right yeah, now. I'm not going to really continue with knows- this. Because the video is like 29 minutes long and I'm not going to just sit here and just play the entire thing. Because it's just way too long. No offense to Shannon's mother. But the rest of it says intoxicated by newfound internet internet attention and untreated borderline personality disorder shani's favorite new addiction is picking fights on social media platforms and youtube comment sections where she can play one of her favorite roles the martyr shani's current husband is jason william egroff known to the internet as the reverend or rev together they are known as rev and shani and they will live stream for hours on end from their squalid bedroom. Rev's claim to fame is his tiny baby carrot dick. What the fuck? <laughs> Which he tries futilely to cram into Shanny on their OnlyFans page. What the fuck? They have an OnlyFans? Okay, I ain't fucking looking at that. No way. No way. Jason also has his own channel where he posts music videos on an array of subjects, including his tiny penis. Again, with the fucking dick talk. She was previously married to Douglas Gaddis. Oh, so Douglas is her ex-husband. Okay. And had two children by him, William and Zachary. All right. Along with cheating on Jason, Shani beats him. In this video, she's suicide baiting while he whines over getting smacked over a Baja blast. He got smacked over Mountain Dew. He also claims her arrest was because she's a targeted individual and not for her own actions. The pair received some wider attention last year when Shane Dawson aired the final episode of his documentary, The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star, which featured a clip of Rev and Shani opening their new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Conspiracy Eyeshadow Palette. Cat fights and pissy reaction videos ensued. Like our dingleberry queen, Shani takes pride in admitting she shits herself on camera. And if you're a morbid, curious fucker, she has an OnlyFans where you can watch the beast get dicked down. There was a leak on Twitter, and what was shown is possibly the least arousing porn on the planet. I am not going to look at those videos. No. No way. Shani is an angry fat woman who cucks her boyfriends and beats them, lets her children piss on the floor, constantly needs to fight people online, and is a disappointment to her mother to the point the old bat felt she needed to address it on YouTube. She blames all of these issues on bipolar disorder and likes to call people the n-word. Also, she's fat and no one should have had sex with her. Oh my goodness. The tea keeps on boiling. 
as someone with borderline, oh, borderline personality disorder, excuse me. I get bipolar disorder and borderline personality disorder confused. I'm sorry, guys. So BPD is borderline personality disorder. Shani spends her entire life flipping between two equally destructive personalities. Personality one is raw hedonism, trying to cram every hole to wring dopamine out of her brain like a rag. Personality two is crying that people don't like her with a total and complete inability to self-reflect. This stream is an excellent example of Shani's pity parties and her dynamic with her boyfriend. Let's see, I, I would... Let me see if I can find one of the streams real quick. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's not gonna play. I guess I guess it was probably deleted. Court history arrested for so the, I guess she got arrested for driving without insurance in 2014. Shannon literally beats Baby Carrot and was arrested for on 05-15-2019 for assault and knowingly reckless behavior. She pled guilty, received a deferred sentence, which was fined about $2,000 and bonded out on $2,500 and is on probation. And then it has people of the state of Colorado versus Dorn Bush, Shannon Eileen. It's got the, I don't know if, it's going to focus, but this is basically just the case stuff and what she was charged with. And the police report by the Boulder, Colorado Police Department. This is the police report. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. So there's also body cam footage. The first person seen is Baby Carrot having an, having his injuries photographed by the police. And then Jason had a traffic incident that he fled from. And then both he and Shannon were charged with resisting arrest. The case is still open and being protested. The DA has responded to inquiries for the body cam footage and police reports. But as it is an ongoing case, he has declined to provide it. Shannon and Jason were evicted by their landlord on December 6th, 2019. The docket remarks forcible entry and detainer, which means they were evicted by the police with force. And here is something else about the case. Mar and then her marriage history. Shannon has lived at many addresses under many names. She is married and divorced every five years or so. She divorced Douglas on 7-23-2010 with custody issues. She divorced another guy that she was married, Christopher John Dornbush, on 07-17-2017 without children. Her birth name and current name is McGraw. She claims Rev is her husband, but there's no evidence of this. And then there's an address, which people are like, you shouldn't be doxing stuff. Seriously, like, don't be giving out addresses like that on the internet. That's not cool. I don't care what kind of reasoning you have. It's not okay to dox people. I would never let her beat my baby carrot. <laughs> These comments. Does this disgusting cow make any money for her porn? Just how degenerate is her porn? We talking rubbing her minge in the tub with a back scrubber tear or inserting baby carrot's entire head inside her asshole tear, asking for a friend. I have muttered about wanting this thread for weeks. I had no idea one was in the works. Sweet. By the way, she deletes things all the time, so any really good stuff needs to be archived. She doesn't believe in the moon. How about no? How about no? Her response to people telling her she can show evidence to herself. That the moon is made of rock. Spring, okay, I'm not, yeah, there's, there's really not anything else that's all that interesting. So, that's really all I wanted to go over, was just kind of stuff that I found out about Shani for Christ. 
And it really seems like her and her husband, whoever she's married to, if she's still with Jason or if she's not, they really do seem like terrible people. And it also seems like they gaslighted Chantal, Foodie Beauty, as well. And I don't have anything else to say, so... I hope that I was able to do my coverage of Shani for, uh, Shani for Christ justice here with this, because this is my first deep dive video into anything regarding Shani for Christ. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then thank you for watching this to the end, if you did watch it to the end. I apologize for this being so long, but there was a lot of stuff that I found out that I wanted to go over, which is why this is like 21 minutes long. So if anything new happens with Shani for Christ, anything recent that anybody wants to fill me in on, then I'll be glad to continue my coverage of her. But... As of right now, this is probably the only video that I'm going to do about this person. So, thank you guys for watching. And, goodbye.